So 2020 has turned out to be, uh, well, quite the year in general, but the one thing from a weather standpoint that's happened as well is it's been extremely hot. And talking about handling of really any fish species during the warm water period in exceptionally hot water, specifically though muskies, as you know, that's uh, been my big thing for years and years. And I, I, I guess I'll go back to 1985. That was the year that I first really experienced as a guide, super hot water, abnormally hot water, where we literally got into the 80s. Generally in my latitude up here in the northern part of Wisconsin, we don't experience any extended period of the water temperature actually being in the 80s, especially the top part of the water column. But during that time I was busy guiding every day and I experienced that. And while I felt I was really good at handling and catching and releasing fish, uh, when, when we got into those 80s, all of a sudden I was no longer good. We literally had a fish die. I had another fish that I released the, the one evening and it swam away and I thought it was fine and I was guiding on the exact same lake the next day. I definitely found that fish dead, so now I understood delayed mortality just because they swam away didn't necessarily mean they survived. And I really started paying attention uh, from that point on because obviously we want healthy fisheries. One thing that I, that I did implement during that period that, that got me even a little more worried is I, I realized, I said, boy, these fish are not doing well, obviously, so I implemented water release only. There were no out of the water pictures loud or anything like that. My clients were very good about that, but we still had some questionable releases. So again, I've been paying attention ever since. I've also been uh, talking to a lot of people over the years on the same issue. Uh, guys that catch tons of muskies and deal with tons of muskies, my buddy Mark Thorpe out in Quebec, my buddy Dick Pearson over in South Dakota now, but it, it, it's something we've kept an eye on. And, and no matter who you are, you're going to run into issues essentially around the mid 70 degree range where things start getting tough. Anything over 80s, things, things are extreme uh, in my opinion. There's a lot of back and forth, obviously, with an issue like this. There's people arguing science and, well, a lot of different things. There's business interests, and in those days I'm, I'm guiding, everybody needs to make a buck, a resort owner, uh, somebody who's on a vacation, they got one vacation here, they happen to come up, they hit the 80 degree mark, they want to go musky fishing. You can't really blame them, but it, the big issue is the health of the fisheries and whether or not it's worth it and, and how it should be handled. To try and cut it, I guess, a little shorter without too much more rambling here, essentially what we found is I would suggest that it's safe to fish muskies in the mid to upper 70 degree range as long as you're being extremely careful. I should clarify this means the top part of the water column. That's when the water really boils and bakes. Don't be concerned if you go out on a dead calm day and you might get an 80 degree reading somewhere and it's only the top foot of the water column. This is when water gets really, really hot that we're talking about that you gotta be careful. What I found is that you should be total water release in those upper ranges. I would actually suggest trying barbless hook fishing and that way you can pop that that hook out real easy by the side of the boat. Forego any of the normal procedures like measuring the fish, especially if it's a bump board, anything inside the boat that takes a lot more time out of the water. Forget about that. Just get your release shot by the side of the boat. Let that fish go. Keep it in the water as much as possible. I think you'll be fine. From what I've seen, when it's when it's above 80s, the top of the water column, I, I think he realistically just uh, shouldn't do it. I, I think there's at least a 50% chance that you're going to lose any fish that you catch and exhaust with the water that hot. 